Come on in. England, England, England. We've got Dodgy Dave here this morning. AKA, mention, AKA mention. Silverbike. Don't mention Silverbike. <laughs> That's between me and David, but thanks for appearing, Dave. Uh, yeah, it's uh, St. George's Day. Donuts. Is there anything they can't do? Oh, flag shakers will be out today, Dave. You know that, don't you? Flag shakers. Yeah. I see it. I've got news for them, though. Sadly, St. George did not know this, Dave. It was, it was Turkish. What is it? Uh, it was Turkish. Well, we had Turkish, German, what else? And exactly. We had family. We've got them all. Anyway, today we're going to talk about uh, Suella Braverman, Dave. She's the MP uh, for Fairham in Hampshire. And uh, she's the former Home Secretary. And yesterday she was all over TV and radio spouting a racist spell, Dave. Wanting the chief of uh, the Met Police, uh, Mark Rowley, to be sacked uh, for an incident involving the professional agitator Gideon Factor on Saturday, who were also all up telly. Yeah. That Jewish kid, yeah, he made his son look like the fucking liar that he is. Anyway, I've got a clip from uh, Radio 4, I've shortened it, so watch, listen to it. Involving this. a man being called openly Jewish by a Metropolitan Police Officer. You've called for the Metropolitan Police Chief to go. Can I ask, have you seen the whole video involving Gideon Falter? I've seen clips of the video. I want hard. marches banned, which are posing a disproportionate risk of serious uh, disorder but you see, or they're unmanageable resource. Because results. the war in Gaza is going on and people are seeing images every day of uh, emaciated children, of civilians dying, and they want to see The police fire. have chosen to say that the pro-Palestinian marchers, who are in large part communicating anti-Semitic slogans, waving anti-Semitic placards, intimidating and harassing part, pity people. Can I finish the sentence, in, please? It, it, the you, police you, have you've chosen... you said something that, that I don't think is borne out in large part. If the police are saying, and this is borne out in the video, that a person cannot cross the street, that suggests that they have reached a threshold of hatefulness and unmanageability to be of a concern. Why was if this if this march was peaceful, why was a Jewish man not able to cross the street peacefully? Right. Well, so again, means, again, I, I, means, I'm going to go back to the point. You need to watch means, the whole video where the police officer means, explains exactly why he's stopping the man from going where he wants to go, and he's offering him a different. Well, there you go, then. David's gone on the bird. Look at that. He's, he likes to tug that. David does. <laughs> <laughs> so Michelle is saying, said, "Have you seen the whole video?" Michelle Braverman said, "No." Michelle Hussain said, I suggest you watch the whole video. She's basing what you say on incomplete information. Which she will. And let me tell you this about fucking the twice psyched former Home Secretary, Suella Braverman. She is fucking married to a Zionist with close family members in the IDF. And she insists on fucking delivering her opinionated message of being judge, jury, and executioner whilst admitting that she is unaware of all the facts. It says a lot to me about a personal agenda. Let me tell you this, Dave. She also said this. When my paper starts playing. <laughs> you got another paper. She doesn't need to see the video. She's seen enough. Well, let me tell you this, Dave. I've seen enough of fucking Suella Braverman and I've seen enough of Tories. Get the bastards out. Wakey, wakey!